Hello guys, this is the latest test I'm doing on the 12.0241 version. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to test the, the most of the things. So first of all, I have fuel and weight like this, about 55% uh, for 55 zero fuel weight and about 20.8 in center of gravity and that is close what i had in level d sim so i had 55 zero fuel weight and um, gross weight around 60 tons and two tons in in the tank two and a half tons in the tank and the one around 20 20 21 in in center of gravity anyway so of course i have uh, put it in the, the cdu and it calculates 5.75 in trim so that is and if you wonder what this panel here is is set hsi uh, and this mcp thing here uh, very handy thing uh, is called x panels so this is what i use just to to show you and I'm running a Brunner yoke um, and you can see that is it's not really centered so that is, that's also a small bug it this has have been like this before but now it's it's back so if I go to the software and try to put it uh, in the as close to zero as possible there we have it it's not centered uh, and not on, on the lower assist display either so there's a small bug but anyway uh, let's let's go for flight and let's turn off uh, let's not do any mistakes um, and we will set this to this. So the first thing I will look at is this thing in the level DC. Uh, I will do a smaller window. Like this. So the first thing we can see here in the video is that the engines are programmed to 94%, uh, 24K. So if we go to the N1 page, you can see I've put 24K D rate here, and it calculates 93.9% N1. And in the level D sim, uh, it calculates 94 or something. But anyway, you can see that when I put Toga on, the the trend vector goes from all the way, almost all the way to 80. So we will see if the trend vector goes almost all, almost. This is before the speed even have have started to accelerate. Uh, so you, we can we can look at it. Um, so so this is in the level D simulator, and the first thing. So put 40% N1. And he's telling me that 45% N1 isn't any problem either. And then Toga, and then you can see, and there we have stabilized, and you saw that it was 80. So, uh, 
So let's let's go. That, that it's just a small thing, but the trend vector basically say how strong the engines should be. How no, no, how strong the acceleration is. So with this information, the weight and the friction and the trust and, and uh, this this is what I'm expecting the trend vector, uh, speed trend vector to go to. So almost to 80. So let's let's do that. And let's. Uh, so like that, and we will push the nose forward a little. And we can see that the trend vector is all the way to, yeah. And I will pull back and way too fast. It wrote its way too fast for this um, amount of, uh, of uh. so if we look at how level decent behaves, it rotates much slower with about half input on the controls, it should slowly raise the nose. So my, my captain friend is correcting me. And now move backwards. You can see how much I move the yoke back. I can move it like here. So it's almost half the way backward. And very slowly, very slowly that nose the, the slow n rose night that nose rises. Anyway, let's go back to the flight. And now you can see that the nose continues. So with this trim, the nose continues upwards. This is not correct. And I don't know if this is speed uh, speed vector. Um, I don't know if this is speed trim that should fix this, or if the trim, va if it's the trim value, or if it's the control control issue trim value, or uh, CDU calculates wrong trim, or the plane calculates wrong trim. But now I'm down to 546, 543. So, should try to put up flaps, speed check, flaps one, and speed check, flaps up. And we can see how the plane is. And this is also a thing I've noticed that on my standard route, it overcompensates if you will so if you if we pause here it's it's overcompensating it should go basically straight to this and then turn right but now the plane uh, the sim mode will turn left to compensate for it it's over correction i don't know any way to describe that but now you can see it turning turning left and uh, this did not level this him do, and I don't think PMD is doing that either or pros him. This is a small thing, but yeah, and about 3700 in climb rate at 6 GG403, so we have about 3700 feet a minute with 93.1% N1 and 
0.6 in trim. And this is also very strange. So the speed have increased, but it has trimmed the plane up. And I think the in the level DCM it trims forward. Um, the speed trim uh, speed trim system is a trim system that doesn't have to do with the autopilot. Uh, um, it trims the nose forward when the speed increases. Um, but as you can see here, it, it has trimmed backwards. Oh no. So let's let's go to the level D sim. Uh, so now at thousand feet we have hundred and seventy five knots and two thousand one hundred and fifty knots in, in climb and we're still going straight. So already here in the beginning we have 1,000 feet. And already here, long before the, the, the first turn, we have 184 knots and 1,300. So let's continue. Up, 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 up. We are waiting for the. So we have 94.9% M1. And we, in, in the sim, we have standard pressure. Standard pressure can 1013. And we have 15 degrees, and that's the same as we have in. So the weather is the same in the level D sim and X plane, and so this shouldn't affect anything. So now, now we can see at in the first turn speed this is the we have 10 point 13 about 13 in pitch 13 degree in pitch and 212 knots and 3500 feet a minute so remember that so already now I already now I should be able to put the gears up and put the flaps up and my keep time frame turn the heading knob and you can see here it's overshooting the the predicted uh, the predicted uh, Elnav path, but it's it stops there. It will not turn back to back. No, it did turn back a little. Oh, sorry, my my mistake. And um, now we can see we are close to the turn and we have about 3,500 feet a minute, 3,450 in the turn. So it's close. So this is close. This is really close. Okay, let's go. Maybe we should uh, play them alongside each other. Ex 
exactly when it's there. One, two, three, four, five. There we have it. And th by doing this, we can compare the altitude and speed. So it's doing the same with the speed here. So we are already 9,000 feet before this point. 9,000 feet. Maybe a little too early. So, and we are already... But it doesn't climb as good as the level is in, apparently. Now we are at 10,000 feet. Stop. 10,000 feet. And let's pause it exactly at 10,000 feet. And as you can see, we should have been at 10,000 feet before GD601. So is there too much drag in the plane? Or is the engines too weak? Or is it too little N1? It has 94.5 here. And uh, we have... I can't see it. Unfortunately, I can't see it. But let's... Let's unpause. And we can see how much this fluctuates. It fluctuates it in, in the, the, the trend, the green arc trend is fluctuating a lot. And uh, it doesn't fluctuate like that in the level DC. It stays basically 